All right, hi everyone. Um, this is me outside picking an orange in Los Angeles. Um, yeah, so I'm a PhD student in biochemistry and molecular biophysics at Caltech. Um, so at the bench, most of my PhD, PhD has been focused on developing data-driven models for biochemistry where you try 10 things and only one will get to something where you do some further experiments. But outside the lab, I've been asked these questions about how you can use scientific software to improve scientific literature, like many of you, so I'm really happy to be here. So the first sort of question, which was inspired by my students when I teach a programming class every year, we always tell our students to be careful about the colors you use. This sort of rainbow color map is perceptually non-uniform and is not accessible to uh, folks with color blindness, red-green color blindness. And there's a new color, a new color map called Viridis, now it's a couple years old, that is perceptually uniform um, and, not, and is accessible to uh, folks with all, sorts of, uh, with all sorts of vision. So you go to, go to an optometrist and they do an OCT on your retinal thickness, looks like there's actually issues if you plot the same data with, with a jet color map with Viridis, it's clear that you're, you're, you, your retina is not detaching. Um, so, I had a challenge from a friend um, just down the hall, and he said, is it possible to fix any image published using, using a rainbow color map to one that was one that used a better color map using Viridi? So Alex and I, undergrad at Caltech, built this tool called Fix the Jet. And then the second part was a little bit more ambitious. Could we send an email to every single author that had ever published a paper using rainbow color map? So with a little bit of modification, we changed it to uh, who has posted a paper with a figure using rainbow color map on the bioarchive. So this is a tool that's up and running, um, jetfighter.ecrlife.org. Um, and so this is a web interface with a little bit of statistics um, from six months last year. So in, that, in those six months, we screened about 11,000 articles. There's uh, about 1,000 or 1,200 detections of rainbow color maps. And then we emailed 800 authors, and we got about 50 responses. And I should have included some of the responses, but they're all positive. I mean, maybe one was a little bit neutral, but people are happy to hear feedback about their papers, and like the, the, the click-through rate for more details is like 99%. People really are interested in improving their work. Um, so behind the scenes, it's a really simple sort of, sort of method. All we do is take images, break them down to pixels, then ask how much of a color, color map there is covered. And this is like, I don't know, 10 lines of code or 12 lines of code here. Everything else is just to sort of, you know, to, to, to send the emails, to screen bio archive. And I'm just gonna maybe put, leave this, uh, this idea up here. I'm interested in talking about a broader framework for sort of semi-automated, automatic research evaluation, maybe call it Reval, you know, and the idea of Reval is, you know, you build a test, Reval handles the rest, CI for papers. Thanks.